Amen, amen. Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, power, and mind belongs to our God forever and ever. Amen. I greet you with Jesus' joy. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. One of the things about the house of the Lord is a place of connection with God. I want you to encourage you, I want you to continue to encourage you to make the house of God your favorite place. Amen. And your life will be shaped by the presence of God. Amen. We give you glory. We thank you. We bless you. What shall we render unto you for all the things that you've done for us? In you we find rest and security. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Praise God. Let's share God's word. All right. So in the book of Hebrews, I believe, in the book of Hebrews, the script that the author of Hebrews says something that we have to focus on today as we begin to share God's word. That's all we do. This podcast is for God's word. That's all I do. But once in a while, I talk about other things that... Uh, relates to your inner well-being and all of those good stuff hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 jesus christ is the same yesterday and today and forever amen it's just a powerful statement and it's very unique to jesus christ you cannot put any other name any other person any other thing in this statement to make it true nothing is the same yesterday today and forever only jesus and i want to talk to you about stability in life is found only in jesus stability in life is found only in jesus christ amen amen that's what we want to talk about today um so the author of the book of hebrews some attributed to paul is uh uniquely kind of um trying to make this bold unique statement that is a statement that make jesus stands out and he makes that statement for a particular reason that we are going to actually look at so that bold statement, that powerful truth about Jesus Christ, that by the work of the Holy Spirit, the author of the book of Hebrews pens down, has countless application. And I'm going to use one application, but he uses it for a different application. In his uh, epistle, he's saying that because Jesus is the same yesterday, and today and forever you can use that to fight false doctrines that's what he actually said in other words anybody that start adding things to jesus and start um talking about okay now you need jesus but you need this else he says now because of the fact that Jesus is the same and there will never be a better Jesus or a less Jesus, but the same Jesus whose blood, whose work, whose complete work is the same through time and eternity. You will know that it's a false doctrine when somebody is trying to say, okay, you need Jesus and circumcision. You need Jesus and water. You need Jesus and a handkerchief. You need Jesus and a wristband. So he's saying that you will know that these are false ones people are adding to jesus right so that is how he applies it but i want to take that statement and also apply it to let you understand that jesus is the only way to a stable life all right let me give you a quick example my career or my occupation is chemist and precisely i work mostly as as i'm speaking now my current position is a stability analyst, right? And one of the things I have done previously was to be hired by a company that had $12 million worth of product that they want me to save for them else they lose $12 million. And what my job was that these $12 million worth of product is going to go into the garbage if I don't do something about it for them 
the reason is because every product with time reduces its potency with time reduces its strength with time reduces what the components that does the work the active ingredient it reduces in potency for example if you start as for example if you have any medicine and it has about 10 grams of the actual medicine in there after a couple of years you see that if you measure you have about eight grams so with time everything goes down so they have 12 i mean 12 million dollars worth of things and they hope that when i come in i can take the ones that have gone down a little bit and formulate it with the one that is strong for example if you are if you are somebody who wants to buy uh maybe 10 gallons of that they want me to take maybe some of the fresh ones you know the way people make things happen you see what i'm trying to say that's what they want me to do that take some of the old ones that have lost potency and kind of blend it in so that they don't see it so that we don't throw it away eventually it threw all away but the point i'm making is that in this life in this world in this thing called life nothing will stay forever except jesus christ everything reduces its quality its strength its look its freshness when time passes only jesus stays fresh all the time now because of that if you want to guarantee a stable life it can only be possible if you are connected with Christ. Amen. Only Christ is stable all the time. Money is not stable all the time. Marriage is not stable all the time. Friends are not stable all the time. Family is not stable all the time. Only only Jesus Christ is stable all the time. And so, if you bind your life with Christ, your stability is guaranteed. But without Christ... Now, so let me tell you this way. Without Christ, as part of your life, Every day, you have to keep your finger crossed because anything can happen to you. But if Christ is in your life and you know him and he knows you and you fellowship with him, not just church, not just Christianity, not just um, religion, but you know the personhood of Christ and you have a relationship with him, not based on activities, but based on a private personal connection, then I know that I don't have to call you and ask you how you are doing. I don't have to check up on you. You will do well because the stable factor is in your life. Amen. Can I bore you a little bit with chemistry? All right, let me bore you a little bit. So, my new job now is analyst for stability. My job is to tell the company that this drug you are making based on the analysis by two years it will lose its potency so you will call it a spy because it wouldn't be able to deliver the dosage that you have written on the label so that's how we define expiring date. we call it shelf life so at this point it will lose its stability and it will not be the same thing again now, my job is to help the company. Because if you have a product that doesn't lose its potency, that is the same yesterday forever, you'll be a zillionaire, if that's the word. Because that's what all people are looking for. Something that doesn't inspire. Something that is the same forever. Right? So, my job is to help the company put a three years expiration date on their product. So, I have to engineer and make sure that whatever it will take for that product to stay active for three years i have to tell them what they should do to make it happen like that sometimes i say put this inside it will suck the the water out so that it will not start 
a reaction based on the water content in the bottle. I will say put this in. So I have to make sure that whatever they put in, it helps it stay longer. I'm saying all of this say that if Jesus is not in your life, you won't stay longer. The reason things expire sometimes is because sometimes it exposed to extreme weather, exposed to some unforeseen situations, and then it starts going bad. But once Jesus is in your life, you will be stable every day. Because if Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever, it means that nothing can change who Jesus is. His strength is the same. His word is the same. His power is the same. So it means that you will forget about unforeseen. There is no such thing as unforeseen. Hallelujah. Because with Jesus in your life, you will be able to handle everything. Because everything changes by Jesus. Do you see the thing? So whatever come la di la zantola di preko still amagadeshta may the holy spirit that has given birth to you may he begin to impregnate you with the substance and the presence of Jesus to take care of every challenge that you are going through amen now Jesus will, will outlive your problems Jesus will outlive your challenges. Do you understand? Nothing lasts forever except Jesus. So once you have tied your life with Jesus, it means whatever you are going to go through, you are going to remain after the problem has come to pass because you have tied your life with that which never changes. Do you see what I'm trying to say? So with Jesus is the only way you can last forever amen because uh, i said today i'm going to bore you a lot the activation energy of jesus christ is outside the spectrum of existence say it again the activation energy of jesus christ is outside the spectrum of existence all right things go bad once they hit their activation energy you understand if you have a tablet in a bottle today i'm killing you with nonsense if you have a tablet in a bottle you will know when the tablet will go bad when the environment brings it to the activation energy that causes to start reacting and then start producing what you don't want you understand but there's no heat in this life that can activate jesus there is no storm in this life that can activate jesus jesus is a stable component of a, of living what can break jesus doesn't exist <laughs> what can break jesus doesn't exist what can reduce jesus doesn't exist so long as you are with him you are stable when you leave jesus things will fall apart See, you know, see somebody who doesn't have Jesus and their life seems to be going well. I just keep praying for them because it's just a matter of a wrong season and they will fall apart. There's no guarantee outside Jesus Christ. I want you, I want you to take Jesus Christ seriously. Make him the Lord and personal savior of your life and I can guarantee you I don't have to call you after 60 days 100 days 60 years 100 years I will call you and you will still be stable because you have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure whilst the billows roll fasting to the rock which cannot move grounded firm and deep in the Savior's blood let's pray oh Lord our help in ages past 
a hope for years to come. The precious darling of heaven crucified. We thank you for such a stable Messiah. You're so complete that we don't need upgrade. We don't need Jesus 2.0. We don't need Jesus version 3. You are so stable and complete and perfect in all your ways. That we can't add to you or take away from you. We bless you for what you have done for us. In Jesus name. Amen.